Hi, I'm Jessica. And I'm Tracy. And this is She's on Top, the place where we celebrate and elevate women. And this is our series called The New Normal. And today we're talking about the big new normal. It was the fact that most of us are working from home. And this is actually starting to become a trend, even with big companies. And you actually brought this up, Tracy, because you read an article about this, right? Yeah, I read an article to say that really big companies, Facebook, Twitter, Shopify, they will be having their workforce go to working from home. And in the next few years, they're not planning on having as many office workers. Um, and I, I was really concerned about that. I remember phoning up Jessica and saying, I'm not sure this is a good thing. Like there's so many people that rely on this, uh, you know, the, the, the downtown core. You've got, I know, you know, you've got these office towers, but you have the people who clean them. You've got the food services, you've got the catering businesses, you've got the parking lot attendants, um, you have the coffee shops. There's a whole way of life that will be lost. And so I was really concerned about that. And so it's just, I wasn't so sure it was such a great thing. Yeah. And we're going to make a couple of points here, but I would say to start, like, you know, it's funny, I remember a couple of weeks ago reading something by Simon Sinek, who, if you haven't seen him, he's kind of a modern philosopher. And he basically said, people keep saying, this is unprecedented, this is unprecedented. And he said, it isn't. And to me, it's no different. It's very similar to when the internet first came along. So people were like, everything went online. And it was like, oh my God, what about, you know? And it's like, yeah, so you either make the switch or you don't. So for example, he was saying, you know, like, the blockbuster stores disappeared because all of a sudden we had online streaming and he had a bunch of other examples. And so to me, it's like when anytime there's a big switch in society, whether it's, you know, an industrial revolution or whatever it is, things change. Otherwise we'd all be on horse and buggies and carts and stuff. And there's always that anxiety at the beginning because people don't want things to change, but maybe it's supposed to, maybe there's a reason. And I'll give you my first reason, which is, I think one of the most amazing things about everybody traveling back and forth was that now that it stopped, there's way less impact on the environment. And I read an, I read an article on the weekend basically saying that there's been a 17% uh, drop in emissions. And they actually said that they need to, we need to have, it's gone, I think back up to four, but they said we need it to, to drop every year by seven, not to end up in a disaster. So all that traveling time that we were doing back and far forth, you know, whether it's cars back and forth, factories aren't open, so we don't have emissions. And the biggest thing they said is planes, not so many planes in the air. So I see that as kind of a, a positive as far as environmental wise. Yeah, I mean, I totally get the environmental impact and I think it's great. I love that, you know, we can, you know, that the air is much cleaner and I think it's wonderful. I think you have to balance it against the human factor, which is, I think as humans, we need to be social and i think when you go to the office it's a big part of your day you leave your home you go to the office you know you, maybe you live alone and you get to interact with people and i think that's like so important i think we're social animals if you look at animals they, they live in communities they, they don't live by themselves another thing too is i think you can actually be more creative i think when you're at home it's great but sometimes when you go to work you're talking with people maybe you're having a meeting you can like you, you can come up with some really great ideas and i know you should can do that on zoom but there's something about being with people getting excited and um, it, it stimulates your, your creative juices. So I don't think anything can be done in a vacuum. I think Zoom is great. It's you know, great we're doing this, this series. It enables us to talk with people that we can speak to before. But there is something about meeting somebody in person, feeding their energy um, and getting creative ideas by doing that. And I think that will be lost if people are working from home and just staring at computer screens. So that's, you know, I, I think you've got to balance that with the whole, you know, with the climate thing. But to me, that's a really big no for everybody working at home. I wouldn't disagree, but here's my counterpoint. I would say that, you know, there's this illusion that, you know, going back and forth and traveling and in every, everything that we were more social. And I would argue that we had lost being social because, it, you know, driving to work, you're sitting in your car, you're listening to a podcast. I would look at people out in the street, they had their earphones in like we did and their head in a phone. And I would say the same thing on the subway. And I would say, you know, maybe there's a little bit of socializing at work, but a lot of times people are sitting at their desk. I think that now it's not that, that we have to think well, what we will do, what will evolve is new ways to be social. And what we're recognizing is that before we sort of felt like we were social or whatever, but now it's like, there's a focus on it. It's like, we need real connection. And so we'll find creative ways to actually make that connection. So I'm not disagreeing with you, but in some ways I think it's, that we have an opportunity here to, you know, like now when we get together, I'll be curious when people get together, are they gonna be on their phones or their phones down? Because they're actually looking for that real 
eye contact, mm. connection and stuff. And even, you know, work-wise, um, I think it's true. You do get creativity from being around people and from those juices flowing. So I think that's a really good point. And I don't know what the counterpoint will that will be. I would also say that if you're working from home, you may have more time to like go for a walk in nature and go outside and be creative. So personally, I think sometimes you can get a big creative hit from that rather than just being on the hamster wheel, back and forth, mm -hmm. go to work. So that would be my counterpoint to that. Yeah, and, and there's some very good points. I do agree. I think now that we look more like, you know, it's starting to loosen up some of the guidelines and I'm like looking forward to having like maybe some friends over at some point and I won't be looking at my phone. I'll be so excited to see them. And there was actually one example. My daughter and I were walking down the street last week and a couple of stores were open and, and we, we, you know, put our head around. We said, can we come in? And we came in and like everyone wanted to talk. And normally you go in, you just, you know, look at the racks. You don't speak to everybody. Everybody wanted to chat. So, so yes, I think maybe the interactions would be more important. But, but another reason why I think working at home isn't great is I think it's really import, important to separate home from work. And I remember once somebody saying to me, never put a desk in your bedroom because your bedroom should be a place where you sleep. And it, you know, some people are very lucky. They have big homes, they can have an office, they can close the door. But a lot of us, we don't have that space. And so now, like for example, I work at my kitchen table. So whenever I'm home, even when the nighttime I'm having dinner or I'm sitting on the couch watching TV, I see that computer on my table. I'm always into work. So, so it, there's really nice to have that separation. So you go to work and then you come home and you walk into that door. Your home is a place of rest, relaxation, um, social, love, family. Whereas now your home becomes work too. And I think that could have a strain on people who don't have the luxury of having space to, to, to maybe close a door and have a separate door. So that's sort of my account. Another, another point where I'm not so convinced that it's great to be working from home. No, and I'd say, and I totally, I would, I would never disagree with that. I definitely think that we're going to have to create boundaries and they're actually going to have to be law boundaries because one of the things in, to that is that, you know, they were saying, especially for uh, parents, you know, they're, they're like, oh, they're working from home, but it's like, yeah, but they're also now the teacher and they're also now the daycare. And so companies aren't taking into fact, it's like, oh, great, you can work from home, but they're not taking into fact, oh, I went from one job to three jobs. And that's super stressful. So I completely agree with that. Um, and also, like I look at, I look at other countries and what they were doing. And like the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda, who we all love, she was basically saying that you know there needs to be shorter work weeks so that we have three days to recover. Because she's like, she recognizes she, we've been through a trauma. We need three days to recover from this pandemic. And the other point I would make, I wish I had printed it off, but. On Facebook last week, there was a guy who printed uh, uh, a series of comments and they, he worked for the Canadian government. And they'd actually sent a notice out to all their workers saying, oh gosh, I wish I printed it out. Uh, if I find it, I'll put a link to it on here. But it was basically, you're not just working from home, you're working from home in a pandemic. You're not like just, it was a very beautiful six point thing that wasn't just like, it's not just yin and yang. And it's like, and we need to, we are here. Don't, you don't expect to be as productive you know, tell us when things are going wrong, tell us. So we need to actually, our government to me is setting an example that should be for all companies. Yeah, I think that's very valid. And you know, there's, there's lots of pros and cons. We would love to get your feedback. We would love to hear from you what you think. Um, but I think that there will need to be guidelines to figure out what is, you know, for example, taking vacations. Some people, uh, I find they're actually working harder because they're in front of their screens all day and they didn't have the break of like going for, out for lunch and uh, it, the, the lines get blurred. So I think there'll have to be like some strong boundaries put into place, like you mentioned, Jessica, and that it will be sort of um, trial and error going forward. But I, I personally would love uh, people's feedback because I think it's really important to um, that when we, if we, if we do end up working more from home, how we can do it in a way that we can still be social, we can still separate our home from our work and that we can be creative, you know, in, in this space. It's true. And just end up, it's funny that you said that because one of the things I remember that Jacinda also said from New Zealand was she was saying, if you, if you, this is why people, people are always like, oh, you know, but she said the economic benefit to a country, if you give people three days, she said, most people are going to be traveling more domestically. Yes. So if you give them an extra day, it actually boosts the economy. Yeah. So I, it's, I love the ways that she thinks. And I think that's what we all need to do. I'm like, I, I would love to hear everybody's comments about the pros and cons. And if there are cons, it's really like, we, in some ways we don't have a choice. So it's a, to me, it's a huge opportunity to be like, what are, we want to, we're emerging into a new world. What do we want that world to look like? 
Yeah. So please send us your comments and your feedback. Uh, let us know if there's any other subjects that you would like um, us to talk about or to, to open up to us. And as always, please remember to subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on LinkedIn. And uh, also sign up to our website. We have an amazing newsletter. So thank you so much for watching. Yeah. <laughs>